Every Super Mario 64 cartridge is personalized. That's a concept that you've probably heard of before, but what if it was an undeniable fact? Imagine if every time you played your Super Mario 64 cartridge, something was just a little bit different. Well, maybe not just a little. You know what? I think I'll just show you exactly what the most terrifying Super Mario 64 ROM hack is. Check out my social media and second channel link below. Let's go. SM64.Z64 is a ROM hack created by Jeff Tastic that was added to the ROMhacking.com site on February 15th of this year. The name is deliberately made to seem like a regular Super Mario 64 ROM. However, after first opening up the game, you'll quickly realize that this game has a few things that are a little bit off. The title screen doesn't even have the typical It's me, Mario! intro sound or Mario's head floating around. Instead, it just has the words Super Mario 64 in low quality font. It seems like an early prototype of the main game. Even the music is different. After the game starts, the area outside of the castle seems relatively the same. Keyword is seems, as if you compare it to the regular game, you'll notice a few stark differences. For one, there are no trees anywhere around the intro area. There also isn't a sign there. And finally, the largest of all, there is no life or health counter at the top of the screen. Again, it's as if this is an early prototype and these features just hadn't been added yet. Everything just feels unfinished. After entering into the castle, you'll notice that it's not only completely silent, but also only contains just one room with a blank star on the door. Of course, this room contains bob on Battlefield. I think the theme here is also a little bit slower, but here's the regular version for comparison. Early on, you'll notice a few differences, like the lack of enemies, red coins, actually, any coins, and the signs pointing away from the mountain instead of towards it. When you finally begin to move up the mountain, you'll also notice a lack of those steel balls that typically get in your way. Trying the teleportation trick doesn't work either. After you finally make it to the top of the mountain, you'll find out that what waits for you isn't the King bob but rather just a lone star. After getting the star, this happens. An error with the only coherent words being, something changed. I'm sure those of you more experienced with Mario ROM hacking and things like that may be able to recognize if anything in this supposed error is off, but since I can't, I'll move on. Let's restart the game and hopefully this time it'll work right. When loading into the outside of the castle, everything seems the same, however if you listen, you'll notice something. Did you catch it? If you didn't, I'll play the original area from the first playthrough and the current area side by side. There's a lack of wind. It's so subtle that most may not even notice exactly what's missing, but it's prominent enough that you'll feel like something changed and that is genuinely one of the most eerie feelings a person can have. If you actually knew what was missing, it would be much easier to brush the feeling off, because who cares if wind noise is missing in a game, right? Now that you're not exactly sure, that feeling will be prominent in the back of your mind. And soon enough, this feeling will turn into dread. The bob on Battlefield level seems similar all the way until you're up the mountain. Before, there was nothing significant outside of the path, However, now there's a flower patch with arrow signs all pointing down around it. When trying to ground pound or stand there, nothing happens. To me, this could mean that you're supposed to crouch down and hide under the flowers at some point, but I could be wrong. And plus, why would Mario even need to hide? It's not like anyone else is out there, right? After getting the star, the player gets the same error. Maybe something will be different again. Now, when loading into the area outside of the castle, there is no sound at all. Only the empty echo of Mario's footsteps reverberates in the player's headphones. 
Even the princess's picture is now absent from the castle. Somehow even the doors are subtly different, with no red carpet in front of them and no border around them. It seems like the game is continually reverting into an earlier state, as if the player is attempting to vaguely remember what a Mario 64 game is like, yet each time it gets more and more difficult. The castle room and the area to the bob Battlefield painting are both a bit larger. Mario is becoming more dwarfed by his surroundings, almost as if he's disappearing, or rather, perhaps it's as if they're trying to consume him. The music in bob Battlefield is now completely different and the sky is a pitch black. Even the objective box at the start no longer says anything but objective. The render distance is also a bit limited, again it's as if the walls are closing in. I don't know why, but the way this level felt was oddly comforting to me instead of eerie. Kind of like how You May Nikki music can be terrifying to some, but it's pretty comforting to myself. Maybe it's just because the level feels so closed in that I feel that way. When traversing the mountain again, you'll notice that the flower patch and signs have moved and are now floating over the ground. When you finally get to the top and grab the star, the same error occurs yet again. I'm not even sure if I want to reload the game anymore. When loading into the outside area again, a ton of textures are missing, most prominently the sky and water textures. The game seems to be decaying at this point. It feels like an everywhere at the end of time experience in video game form. Now the bob on Battlefield painting is even further from the door. When loading into the level, the objective box now just says, leave. The render distance is even less now, and there's no music anymore. While running around, everything seems pretty regular. until you suddenly hear the race sound. All of a sudden, this tense music begins to play as the timer counts down from 30 seconds. The screen gets darker and darker as Mario desperately tries to reach the top of the mountain. Eventually, everything stops, but you can still keep moving. In my case, I decided to get to the top of the mountain and then when that didn't work, I jumped off, thinking that I had to go back to the start of the level in order to beat it. Nope, nothing. While running around, I assumed something would pop out of the dark and scare me, but no. I was waiting for something to happen with bated breath until I saw it.
On the mountain, there was some type of white object that definitely wasn't there before. I assumed whatever it was was chasing me, however, it didn't move. So I decided to get a closer look. At closer inspection, it looked like a corrupted and maybe even scrapped version of Mario himself. When moving in close proximity, the screen begins to vibrate violently before it suddenly attacks. No, fuck. I made it. But there's nothing. When restarting the game again, there's no music and no words on the title screen at all. The outside of the castle now has most of the proper objects and textures, but it's missing the most important part, Mario. Slowly an unfamiliar song begins to play, the one that's been playing in the background of this segment. Then a text box pops up saying, everything is better off without you. Could this have been made for a specific player? Or is this directed towards anyone that would have been meant to try this accursed game? In this game's universe, why would someone hate someone enough to go to this much trouble, especially in a Super Mario 64 game? It's hard to say. You could even say that this was a cruel joke made by a developer of the game to trick people who thought that they were getting early access to the game. Either way, the unknown premise makes the game that much more terrifying in my opinion. And oh yeah, I'm sure you're wondering what exactly happens after this text message pops up. Well, nothing actually.